Is that on now? It's on. Oh, okay. We're live. We're just waiting for people to join us. Oh, I hope right. we're live. <laughs> I hope so, too. I hope we're alive. And we're waiting for comments to appear. Oh, okay. There's a time delay. Oh, really? I don't know. I'm just saying that. Oh, oh I don't know. <laughs> oh, Rhonda is you, watching. You could fool me. Let's see. Okay, I think we start to, we're starting to have a few people. Tamara says hello there from Texas. Tamara. Oh, Texas. In Texas. What is the weather like in Texas? Let's great. see. Marlene says good evening, beautiful ladies. Good evening. Darlene, hi from Georgia. Oh, Georgia, that's great. Oh, my good too. friend Rhonda Tanner. Uh, Kaser, is that how you, Rhonda, you're going to have to tell me how you say it. It says, hello, beautiful ladies. She's a good friend of mine. Oh, okay. Uh, Lisa Gray says, hello. Donna says, hello. Hey, from PA, Lynn. Lynn is from PA. Ooh, we're in PA too. We're in Northeastern PA. Let's see. Oh, hi, Grandma Jean and Lee from Kay. Hello, Kay. Hi, Kay. Hi, Gabby. Gabby's on. Oh, hi, Gabs. Let's see. Tina says hello. Ashley from North Carolina says oh. hello. Oh, Ashley, I'm hoping to travel in your direction pretty soon. I love the North Carolina beaches. Um, we like Emerald Isle and Topsail Island, so hoping to make it down that way soon. Pam says, hi, ladies. Sunny and cool. Uh, in Indiana. Well, oh. let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to vent a little. The weather here oh, has been awful. Terrible. The weather here has been absolutely disgusting. Um, it's been cold. Cat says, hi, Lee and Grandma Jean. Cat. From Nebraska? From Nebraska. Cat, wow. I sent your flag and your ornament out today, so you should receive it soon. Thank you very much. Um, what was I saying? So the weather's been horrible here. Yes, yes. Um, it's been raining every day. It's been gray every day. It's been gloomy. And windy. <clears throat> Sylvia from Alberta, Canada says hi. Oh, wow, way up north. And Lynn says, we are in Mechanicsburg, outside of Harrisburg. Yes, we know where that is, Lynn. Uh -oh. We're about two hours from there. Yes. Uh, we are about 45 minutes from the Outer Banks. Oh. And from Michigan also. I, I can read this way. Can what you is that see, how come you can see them tonight? Can you can see them? I don't know. No, wait, go try and read one. Let me see. Can you? I know they go fast. Well, yes. Hi, Lee and Grandma Jean. Hope you ladies are well from cold and damp UK. Oh, oh. oh. they do go fast. I didn't know you could read them. Well, I can. I, I'm I'll just put you in charge of reading them anymore no, because your eyes that. are better than mine. No, they're not. I'm just looking for the states. I love to look at the different states that okay. we, we reach. Let's see. Is that why you are blurry? Oh, we're blurry? Oh. Oh. I don't know. I, I hope we're, we're clear. What we're looking at, we're clear. Gabby, are we clear or blurry? Okay. Um... So let's see, blah, 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 somebody needs rain. Same here in Michigan, cold and freezing, temps at oh, night. Oh, right, we've wow. had to cover our plants at night too. Uh, Judy says, is this your mother? Yes, Judy, this is my beautiful young mother <laughs> yeah. of 91 years. Well, she's my mother of 54 years, but she is 91 years old. Yes, we had a lovely Mother's Day, and I hope everybody out there had a lovely Mother's Day. Yes. Oh, Rhonda says, oh, but you have a sunny disposition here. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Um, so, actually, the sun did shine for a little bit today. So, Grandma Jean and I, we had cabin fever. The sun was a little, it was out for a little while. And we love our plants. We love New our flowers. York. We love our backyard. And uh, Australia. Virginia says, okay. hello, Virginia from Australia. I love it. Um, so we decided to go to our local, we went to our local farm stand, grabbed a few hanging baskets, and then on the way back, we actually stopped at, um, where did we stop? Walmart. Oh, we yes, got, we yes. got We got one at Walmart. We got three, we got five all together. One at Walmart, three at uh, the farm stand, and one at um, Giant Market. So, you know what? I don't like to pay a lot of money for my hanging baskets. Um, 
Yes, I am lucky to have her, Judy. Thank you. I, I don't like to pay a lot of money. I'm not paying $30, $40, $50 for a hanging basket. I want to pay like $10. <laughs> um, I, they're hard to come by. Yes. But I think we got two of them for $12 today, and then two of them for $15. And I think one was 18. Well, that's so, reasonable. So uh, as long as it's under 20, I will pay that. Yes. Um, so Grandma Jean said, well, you know what? And then, of course, then the gray skies came and the rain came down um, after we got home with our hanging baskets. So uh, when we came in the house, Grandma Jean said, well, I wish we could, like, have the pretty flowers all the time. Why couldn't we do a gnome with flowers? And I said, well, okay, guess what? We will do a gnome with flowers tonight. Yes. So that's what we're gonna do for you. And you should definitely 100% be able to get, um, hi Susie, also from Pennsylvania, and Linda from Kentucky. And um, let's see, Paula says, Grandma Jean, I can't believe you are 91, you look wonderful. I can't believe I'm 91 <laughs> either. <laughs> um, she is so young at heart, that's what's, that's what's wonderful. She will go along with anything <laughs> we do here at Norman Backyard. Oh, some of the things that she makes me put on these silly hats, and, and oh, I love it. Well, I have, we haven't got on camera yet in a silly hat or anything well, like no, that, so. no. <laughs> And I won't. Okay. So anyway, what you're going to need, um, if you would also like to make one of our flowering gnomes, is one of the styrofoam cones from the Dollar Tree. And I know they carry them South at mine. Carolina. They carry them at mine all year round. So hopefully you would be able to find some of these um, white oh, styrofoam from the cones. Okay, again. And then if you can't find them at your Dollar Tree, if you have a Hobby Lobby round, Hobby Lobby carries these, and they do carry singles. Um, hello there, new dear Paige. Leslie, hello Leslie, welcome to Gnome and Backyard. Um, and let's see, Kat says it's only a number, Grandma Jean. Absolutely. Kat, you're 100% right about that. Um, oh, Whispering Pines, North Carolina. Hello, Lori. So Home Depot will carry single, not Home Depot. Did you hear what I said, Home Depot? Hobby Lobby Hobby will Lobby. carry um, singles, or they carry, this is like a two pack, and I just don't like the price because it's $249. So you're paying, you know, like two and a quarter uh, a piece for them when you could get them at your Dollar Tree, hopefully. But if you don't have them at the Dollar Tree, they are available at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure Michael's probably carries them also. So next what we used was we did use some pots also from the Dollar Tree, and they are a two-pack. So you get two, let's see, originally from Pennsylvania, but live in Florida, Donna, yes. Um, <laughs> I'd love to join you. <laughs> maybe someday. Um, so Dollar Tree, two ceramic pots in a pack for a dollar. However, you can get these little ceramic pots anywhere. You can, um, you might even have one at home that you want to use. You might want to repaint it. How, hi, how old are you two tonight? <laughs> well, tonight, tonight I'm about, I think I'm like 36 tonight. So then you should be maybe like... 60? Well, let's, let's do the well, numbers. I'm 36, she's 60 tonight. That's, I mean, what, that's what we're doing tonight. All right. Um, you might have pots at home. You could get these pots at Home Depot at Lowe's. If you can't find the um, clay pots, my Dollar Tree also has these plastic ones, and these are actually three for a dollar. These will work also. They're just a little bit wider around here, so your cone that is going to be your hat goes down just a little bit further in this, but that's okay. But for tonight's project, we used our ceramic pots. And, let's see, you wanna grab yours? Sure. We each picked out a color, so all you're gonna have to do is, you know what, paint your little ceramic pot. I chose pink on the bottom and white on top. And I chose yellow with a little, uh, burnt orange on the bottom yeah because it's not it's definitely not clay it's hard to see the color a hundred percent but this isn't the original clay color no it's, it's um, a, a sort of a burnt orange it's yeah it's a really pretty burnt orange let's see reaching about what i don't i didn't get that comment so <clears throat> all you're gonna do paint your pots whatever color you want to paint them decorate them a little bit if you want whatever works with your home decor and then we took our styrofoam cones and we actually painted those too. I painted mine a really light pink 
And mine's yellow to go with my yellow rim. And actually, I probably should have mentioned sooner, we chose our paint colors because of our flower colors. So <clears throat> Grandma Jean picked these yellow flowers from the Dollar Tree. So that's why we chose to paint um, her cone yellow. We're going to hot glue our flowers under our cone for our gnome's hat. What size are your pots? The pots are <clears throat> three and a half inch diameter. Three and a half inch diameter. But like I said, you can um, you can use the other pots from the Dollar Tree. You could use, you know, even if you have a pot at home, what, what you could do is, if this is a little bit more than three and a half inches, you can just stuff it with styrofoam so that, uh, you know, it comes up a little bit more and maybe your cone would sit up higher and then we can just cover that. You'll see, we're gonna cover that with the flowers. So really, if you can't find, you know, these pots at three and a half inches exactly, don't worry about it. Love your pick of flowers, Grandma Jean, Leslie says. Oh, thank you. So Grandma Jean picked the nice pretty yellow flowers and you can actually start pulling yours off of the stems. Okay. And I didn't buy new flowers. Um, I still had some pink roses at home from Valentine's Day. Hi, Robin from Michigan. So I just wanted to use my, just you pull it right off the stem. Pull hard. There you go. That's perfect. Oh, but yours has a longer stem. It doesn't matter because we're going to hot glue them onto our cones and that melts when okay, you put the hot just, glue on it anyway. I just don't want to get gypped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like when we didn't have enough rice for you, yes, yes. For you to do your bumblebee sock Ex gnome exactly. on that live? Exactly. Is that, is that what yes. we're going back to? I don't want you to were gypped you. that night because I didn't save enough rice. We did um, bumblebee no. Actually, where is he? Oh, <clears throat> we did bumblebee gnomes on a prior live maybe like two weeks ago or three weeks ago and when we were attempting to make grandma jeans i made mine first oh uh, rhonda says yellow is her favorite color oh um, great so when i attempted to well when i made mine great when grandma jean attempted to make hers we didn't have enough rice to fill her sock so and it flopped all over. It, the, it was all terrible. Over. But that's why I, we even bought you extra flowers. Oh, so okay. Thank you're you. set for tonight. Okay. You're set, and I'm using the leftover flowers. So, guys, you might have flowers at home. Use them up. No big deal. Missy says, happy to see you. We're new to your page. Well, welcome to Noman Backyard. Hello, Lee and Grandma Jean from Kathy Col Colliette. I don't know. It sounds like a beautiful French last name. I'm not yes, good with does. pronouncing names. <clears throat> so, um, take the rest off your other stem. You're going to need all of them. I'm going to need all of them? Yeah, and maybe I'll make mine first, and then we'll make yours. Oh. So, real simple. All we are going to do is we're just going to start at the top of the cone and hot glue our flowers right around. And yes, Grandma Jean is right. Mine do have longer stems, so I'm actually going to hot glue it and then push it in, but... Um, I already tried it with yours and it works. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already tried it with yours and it All works. Right. So let me see. I'm going to put some hot glue around the base here of the flower just so it sticks. And I am going to. Yeah, see, my stem is so long it pops out the other end. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good. No. Oh, here, look it. My stems actually come off. I knew that. Look it. Oh, here, I'll help you. Pull my stems. I get one or two that are still on there. Let's see if you can pull them off, Grandma. If not, that's okay. So um, that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna hot glue at the base of our flower. And I did think I thought this was a good idea. You know, when Grandma said, "Well, geez, we have pretty flowers for outside, but because we can't really enjoy them right now with all of the rain and everything that's going on, why? I wish we had flowers inside." And I said, "Well, guess what?" we can make the cutest little uh, gnome with a flower hat. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just hot gluing my flowers right onto my, um, France, Francis says, I love the colors, thank you. Right onto my styrofoam comb. I got no way. these are very hard to get off. They are. Where's the rest of my flowers, uh-oh. I, I know what happened. I'm actually not going to have enough to do around the bottom 
<clears throat> of my base with my flowers and I knew that, but um, that's why my cone is painted pink. So it'll just look like his back. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll oh, work out. Okay. Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it'll it out. It'll work out. Um, I love both colors. They will both be so pretty, says Pat. Thank you, Pat. If you can't get them off, don't worry. Because you we know what? We need a pair of pliers. <laughs> <laughs> I pull them out with my teeth, but I don't want to pull, I don't want to pull everything out. <laughs> when you say everything. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Leslie says, I love the gnome behind you. Leslie, everybody loves the gnome behind me. I did not make it. I purchased it for $9.99 at the Christmas tree shop. Um, and the more I thought about it, I don't think I could make one for $9.99. So, um, so I did, I bought that one. I, I think he's really cute. And actually he has a brother over there. I actually grabbed two of them for $9.99. Kathy from New Hampshire says hello. Oh, New Hampshire. Hello, hello. So, um, other than us getting hanging baskets today, Grandma, what did you do exciting, anything? Well, uh, I didn't do anything exciting. Uh, speaking of plants, I was uh, trimming my plants at home, and I don't know if anyone out there, maybe they could help me. I have, a um, jade plant and it just uh, has gotten some type of a fungus on it. It was doing wonderful all winter and all of a sudden it has this black fungus on it. I don't know what's wrong with it. So I repotted it and uh, they said that sometimes there may be something in the bottom. Well, I took everything apart and I looked through all the dirt. There was nothing there. so. I just don't know if anybody has an idea what I can do with my jade plant. I'd appreciate it. Um, oh, it has a fungus? Yeah. Mm. Could, could I tell them when, when you get a, get a chance, could I tell them about my Mother's Day present, the rose? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, could tell I? them about that. And you know what we'll do? We'll actually, we'll take pictures of it. We'll do some kind of like... Um, time-lapse thing so oh. that they could see. We'll take pictures over the, the several days that, um, go ahead, tell them about it. Well, for Mother's Day, I got this unique gift. It's beautiful. It's a rose and it has, uh, it's about, oh, I keep going to the wrong side of the camera. It's That's about okay. that big around and the petals are beautiful. It's white. But what you do is you take a Sharpie and you outline. It's from Sensi. So if anybody, Lee, are you putting one on top? Yes, I'm saved one and I am gonna put one on top. It, the, the rose Grandma Jean got is from Sensi. Um, so if there's any um, Sensi reps out there, you probably know what she's talking about. Um, my friend sells Sensi and that's what the rose is. And you're supposed to take a Sharpie and go right around the outline I keep having, keep going the wrong way with it. You okay. go right around yeah. the edges with your Sharpie, any color. And then it has a wick on it and you place it in the container. I believe it's oil. It's, yes, it's oil, natural oil, I think. And, and then after, and you can paint the whole thing. And after a while, the colors just sort of absorb into the, your flower and they come out beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty, we'll do that. Can we show them? Right, we'll take a picture of it before you okay. color uh, the tips with the Sharpie. Okay. And then we will, um, we'll take another picture like after eight hours and we'll take an, a, the black fungus on your plant could be mealy bugs. Oh, really? You know, that they said that could be. Thank you for that information. But I repotted it and I couldn't find any bugs in the, maybe I couldn't see them. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe I'll just have to mm. repot it over. Thank you for that information. I'll look into it. Mealy bugs. Thank you very much. Ooh. Well, they must be very small because I couldn't see anything or I didn't have my glasses on. I don't know. Now, see, yours is going to come out 
a little bit nicer, a little different than mine, a little nicer because we splurged and we bought you, <laughs> you know, as many flowers as you needed. I just tried to make do with what flowers I had. Oh, but so, they're pretty though. They're so we've got pretty. flowers probably about halfway down and I am going to put one on the top to cover up the top. And see, your, your flowers are gonna cover up your whole cone, but that's, that's good. Oh, okay. Does it matter that yours isn't all covered? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so we hot glued, uh, check under the jade tree leaves for tiny, those little A-P-H-I-D-S. Oh, okay, I know those, what you mean. Those little, oh, okay, thank yeah, you. Those little guys. I will do that tomorrow. The cones from the Dollar Tree do have a little bit of a seam in them. Um, right there it's not real noticeable but it's a little noticeable so that's where i'm actually going to put my beard so that that's covered up anyway and then all i was saying is like this will be you'll be able to see this in the back but that's okay because that's the back of my gnome and that's that won't matter that'll be like his little body the flowers are his hat this will be part of his little body and i am going to cover up the seam with my uh beard so I already pre-cut a piece of white fur for my gnome. And in case you haven't watched us make any gnomes before, um, you always want to take your fur and put the furry side down and then cut it. Uh, when I have fungus on my, any of my plants, I put a teaspoon of D-E-T-T-O-L. We'll have to go back to that one. All right, we'll, we'll, okay. read, we'll read that. Thank uh, you. Um, you always want to cut your fur on the back flat side right here. And you always want to use like an X-Acto knife or a straight blade. You don't want to use scissors because if you use scissors, then you lose all these wispies and your beard doesn't look nice at all. Um, if you were watching me the other day, I told the story about how um, the associate at Joann's, when I went to buy fabric last week, I went to buy two different color uh, furs and I placed my order, I walked away, I did some other shopping when I came back and I picked them up and it was only a quarter yard each so I didn't feel too bad about it but I looked at it and it was terrible. The edges were all jagged, it looked like somebody was chewing on them. Um, I'm late but I'll watch the replay after. Yes, Miss Carolyn, make sure you watch the replay. Um, it was terrible, I, I actually left them there. I didn't buy them because fur is expensive and I, I just felt the associate really should have known how to cut the fabric Absolutely. better. So, and I didn't have time to wait um, to, to have her redo it, so that's okay. So you always just want to, with a straight blade, cut your fur on this flat side. And really, guys, have something underneath you, like a little cutting board. The Dollar Tree plastic cutting boards are great. Put that underneath you and just press down, cut it, and then you just pull your fur apart and you get these nice, cute little wispies. I'll put my knife away now. Hi, Laverne. Laverne's watching also. Oh, hello. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna run a bead of hot glue around the bottom of my cone because I'm gonna place it inside my um, pot nice and snug, and then I'll see where my beard is gonna fit the best. I still can't picture this. Oh, an antifungal antiseptic. You're getting, we're gonna have to go back and yes. read all these. Yes comments because uh, you are Thank getting you. a lot of good advice. Thank you very much for from your, your the followers advice. about your... See, aren't you glad you mentioned well, that to Yes, me? I'm glad because, you know, there are people out there that are, are very well educated with knowing what to do with their plant. Okay. If you push down tight enough, your hot glue will hold the styrofoam in the pot. Am I crooked? Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still crooked? No, he, he looks good now. No, I'm a little crooked. crooked. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Let me see. I mean, we're not all perfect. What the heck? No, he looks good. Yeah? Yeah, he looks good. Okay. So now I'm just gonna run an edge of um, hot glue across the top of my beard on the back and then I'm going to place that right underneath my flower petals, right about there. Oh, that's gonna be cute. 
I like your flowers. They're nice and colorful. Well, see, yours are going to cover all the way down, and yours are going to cover all the way. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... So some of the hanging baskets that we bought today, I wrote down what we bought so we could tell everybody. Uh, we bought two petunias and they are so pretty. They are like um, purple, one is purple and white speckles. And one is, uh, where are they? They're out on the front porch, it's hard to see. Oh, one is purple see. and white speckles and one is, um, like a purple and yellow stripe yes. for the petunias. So we bought two petunias and uh, what else did we buy? We bought one fuchsia plant. I absolutely love the fuchsia plant. Absolutely love the fuchsia plant. That's like one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites I, I too, love yes. that, the fuchsia. And then we bought, now this, I, I don't know how to pronounce this one, Osteo, osteospermum. Osteospermum, it's a mum. Oh, it's, it's the a purple mom. one. The oh, purple one that looks like a mum. We'll just say purple mum. A purple mum. And then we bought a Cala, Cali, Calibra, Cal, Calibra Coa. <laughs> Is it official? Is that also Calibra, a mom? Calibra, Calibra, Calibra Coa. Oh, that, that, that's, show them the picture. And it says Cabaret, I put the, put the picture in. It says Cabaret or something on there. Cabaret. Um, but anyway, we bought a yellow one. So we've got purple, fuchsia, yellow. We've got all pretty colors. Oh, you, if you saw them, I posted a picture of them today. But we have lots of cute, um, lots of pretty, pretty colors. May I see so, that? Yes, you may. Thank you. Okay. So now we have a potted gnome with a flower headpiece. And I'm tipping him here with a flower headpiece and... Uh, he's in a pot, and we're just going to stick a little nose on him. The nose always makes it, you guys. The nose is what makes it, in my opinion. You know what this says? This says cabaret. Yes. Okay. Cabaret. What I'm going to use for his nose is just a little tan pom-pom. I buy them by the bag at Hobby Lobby. I think you get like 50 of them for $2.50. 50 or 80 of them. I think maybe you get 80 of them. You get quite a few of them. But it... It doesn't look like a gnome until you put a nose on it, right? Absolutely. I see you looking at him. You're looking at him going he needs like, his, hmm. Oh, there it goes. He, he it doesn't oh, look like a gnome cute. until you put a little nose on him. He's cute. He is. He's very cute. I think I'm going to like yours better, but... I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> well, no, I like your flowers. Your flowers are really nice and full. So... Where are we? Here we go. We, we have a cute little, I think I'm really gonna like yours better. I, I, <laughs> he reminds me of um, that girl from Greece that dyed her hair pink <laughs> when she went to beauty school. Beauty school dropped out. No graduation day for you. That's um, before my time. Greece is not before your time. Uh, I forget what her name is, but yeah, this is what he reminds me of, is um, the beauty school dropout girl from um, Just Jumping On. I'm new here on my first live with you. Hope everyone is having a great day. Hello, I missed who that was. Um, but yeah, he looks like the girl that dyed her hair pink from beauty school yes, from Greece. Yes, <laughs> yes, he, yes, he does. All right, moving All right. on, let's, moving on. Let's try moving yours. On. Let's, try, let's try yours. Hey, we, you know what? I'll let you work the hot glue gun. We fly by the seat. I glue my fingers we, together. No, I burn myself a couple yes. of times. We fly by the seat of our pants around here at Noman Backyard, but that's okay. Um, We're original. <laughs> what What else? Well, you know what, Grandma? Jean, 100% original because um, if if you're new, you have to go back and check some of my videos out because... If anything, we're original. We find items to turn into gnomes um, like you wouldn't believe around here. We've taken a paddle ball and turned it into a gnome. We've taken um, uh, surfboards, mini surfboards, and turned them into gnomes. Yesterday, we did a garden glove. Actually, here, I'll give you the garden glove. You could show everybody. 
Oh, okay. Show them this one. That oh, you didn't see this. that yet. You did. Oh, I don't I think didn't you saw see that this. Oh, this is so cute. That's a garden glove. You have to hold it up a little bit closer. Oh, look at that. I'm looking at the back is back is. Oh, look at that. Is that is that not so? In great? case you didn't see the video for that oh. yesterday, it's a very quick six or seven minute video, and we took a garden glove and. Turned it into three oh. little gnomies, again, in one of the flower pots from uh, the Dollar Tree. That so, is, French was her name. Yes, Sandy. French was her name. That is so cute. Look at that. The three little gnomes with the flowers and the garden. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I think you need to pull more flowers off. Oh, that, that is very, very nice. And I like the colors. I like the colors of your... In a minute. The garden glove? I, I, yeah, I like the, <laughs> no, I like the colors of your pot. I don't know if they can see the pot down. I have a hard time trying to find I know, first we're back, we're actually backwards. <laughs> it's hard, there you go. <laughs> there I go with this hand. No, your pot, it looks like it's marbleized. It, it is. I, oh, I that is so nice. I painted it um, a light blue first and I didn't oh. like the light blue. So then I took fuchsia paint and put it over the light blue, oh. but I like did it streaky. Oh, that so is, you can see yeah, a little so bit of the light blue underneath. It looks it. like it's marbleized. Lovely, I love it. What else have we? Uh, oh, we've taken pineapples and we've made turn them into gnomes. Um, we've taken cute little tiki glasses like a, a pineapple and something else. A, Palm tree tiki glass, and we've turned them into gomes. Name it, and she'll do it. Name it, and we'll try it anyway. Oh, yes. I'll I don't know if it'll you. be a success or not, but we'll try it. I always say to you, what is that going to be? What are you doing with that? And lo and behold, we got a gnome, a new gnome. But we do make other things besides gnomes. Oh, yes. Yes, you, yes, you do. We make uh, beautiful stands. We with... did the cute angels last time. Oh, the angels. Last time with you. Is this all we have left? Oh, my. This yes. takes more than, well, at least now they'll know how many. They'll know to buy three bunches of flowers because it takes, well, it takes about a lot of three flowers. bunches of flowers to cover this. So they'll know that next time. On Greece, they told Frenchie her hair looked like an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lucy. Uh, was that one of your favorite movies? Because I know growing up, that was 100% one of my favorite oh, movies. Oh, yes. I, I enjoyed it also. Uh, well, the Nomi looked like he had an Easter hat on. He, he did. He did. He looked very cute. I'm liking the yellow better, though. I think, uh, uh, yes. I think I actually like these flowers better um, than the roses. Well, I don't know. I, they're I like smaller, these. and uh, I just like these a lot just, better. They just bunch up. So that's all I'm doing. I am just hot gluing flowers to this cone, and so far it looks like it's going to take about three. Um, that's a lot of flowers. It is a lot of flowers. Why are you covering the whole thing? Well, I'm, I'm want to cover a little bit more than what I did in Mayan. I want oh, okay. yours to look a little different than mine. Oh, okay. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to leave a little bit. I'm going to leave a little bit at the okay. bottom, but. I have to say she's a perfectionist, no, dear. <laughs> I try to find the shortcuts, but they don't work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, no, no, we can't do it that way. What's on your agenda for tomorrow? Anything? Can you show us your angels? Oh, hmm. I have to find them. Lucy, I will have to find them. Um, I'll find them. And if I can't find them, I'll repost the picture of the angels. Actually, Lucy, they were really just, um, they were really just Dollar Tree. Oh, Leslie's daughter played Sandy in Greece in high school. Oh, that's so cool. Um, the, we did one set of angels with a bottle from the Dollar Tree, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like uh, anybody can find that bottle anymore. That bottle was back near Valentine's Day, so unfortunately we can't get our hands on that bottle anymore. Then we took the simple salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree and made little angels out of those, and those you could get anytime, the salt and pepper shakers. Um, and then this last one was just right now, the Dollar Tree 
has a ceramic, shiny uh, ceramic angel. And we just chalk painted her because we didn't like the shiny. We chalk painted her and then we made a pretty uh, tray for her to sit on and even made an additional little pedestal to put on top of the tray for her. And she turned out really pretty. Oh, that was, that was pretty. Let's see. Okay. I think maybe, huh? one uh, more right there. You think? See, I'm liking yours a lot better. Oh, that, that is pretty, yes. I'm liking it's, yours it's a lot more, better. It's uh, more uniform. I like the way your flower works better. We need to save one flower for the top. Oh, look, oh, oh we have two here, so. With all this talk about Greece, I want to watch it again for the 500th <laughs> time. Yes, Francis, 100%. Oh, everybody wishes they were Sandy. Everybody, I mean, I think everybody wishes they were Sandy back then when you watched Greece. Oh, man. What were some other good movies that were like classics like that besides Grease? Any ideas? Me? No, no. Not, not when it comes to movies. <clears throat> oh, Lucy says the angels sound awesome. Hi, didn't see you were on, I'm late. Shirley, that's okay, you can watch the replay. Uh, Tammy just watched Grease last night. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, Stacy, leather clad Sandy. Yes, all of us 16 year old girls who were very good, goody two shoes growing up, we all, yes. wanted, to be, we all wanted to be Sandy. <laughs> oh. Now, is that the top? That is the top. Okay. And that is it. We used three. Oh, wow. That uh, took we an, used three groups of flowers for that yours. That took an awful lot of flowers. Oh, Dirty Dancing. Yes, that's an... Oh, and Footloose. Yes, yes. <laughs> Dirty Dancing and Footloose. Oh, man. They were some good movies. They do not make them like that anymore. No, they don't. Michelle says, I didn't realize you were live now. That's okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I do a lot of pre-recorded videos, Michelle, and post them because I know, um, oh, American Graffiti, another good movie. I know a lot of people, oh, Steel Magnolias. Oh, they're coming up with all the good movies now. How about Gone with the Wind? Ghost. <laughs> Ghost, another good one. Um, yeah, I do a lot of pre-recorded videos because I know people are short on time, and so Saturday Night Fever, oh, definitely, Jeanette. Oh, yeah. um, so I try and post some really quick between five and 10 minute videos for people to do, um, and they're fun too. So this actually just looks like a really pretty topiary oh, that we don't it, actually, yes, we don't even need to turn this into a gnome. <gasps> Driving Miss Daisy, yes, another good one. Oh, Saturday Night Fever. Well, see, they, they're coming up with all the good ones. We have a Dr. Here. Javago. <laughs> what? Who? Um, um, well, no, I know. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I can't think of it now. Let me see. Is this going to, is this going to, I still think we're turning it, we're turning it Turn, into yes, a gnome. Yes, I have to. I said I was going to make it into a gnome, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, uh, see, somebody, uh, Lisa said, yes, Grandma Jean, gone with the wind. Thank you, yes. Lisa. <laughs> and Lisa, that is, um, that's who Grandma Jean named me after, right? Vivian oh, Lee? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Vivian Lee absolutely. from absolutely. Gone with the Wind. Yes, I did. Okay, we're going to run some hot glue around the base of our cone here. And then maybe I could put this one in the pot straight and not yes. crooked. Oh, yes. Well, it's easier said than done. Let's oh, see. Oh, I'm sure. As my hand is shaking. It's hot. It's hot. As my hand is shaking. There. There. No, yours, yours is coming out much oh, better than mine. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, okay. that is so So nice. all we did was hot glue, as simple as that is, the um, uh, cone into the pot. And now Grandma Jean chose this fur for her beard because she thought it made a really nice color uh, combination yes, here. Yes, it does. Um, and again, this is the back of my fur. Cut it on the back. Um... And then you get the nice little wispies here. And this fur is really nice. This fur I bought at Hobby Lobby. That's the only place I've seen this really pretty like multi-colored fur here. 
um, Hobby Lobby, they sell it on the roll, but you could buy probably as little as a quarter yard if you want to, and that's not bad. Tammy Rice says, I love watching you and Grandma Jean and Sherry. You know what? Could you see the three of us together? I don't know if there'd be room for the three of us, but we, we're going to have to we're gonna have to try that someday because, yes, I had a blast when I was on Sherry's page the other day. Urban Cowboy, another good one. Oh, Betty says, Gone with the Wind is her favorite. Thank you. Oh, and a John, John Wayne fan, uh, The Quiet Man. My husband is a huge John Wayne fan, and he has watched that movie so many times. Hello, Peggy. Mamma Mia. Oh, yeah. Mamma Mia. Here I go again. What Mama, was that? Mamma Mia. Oh, Mamma Mia. Oh, Mama yes, Mia. yes, yes. We saw that over. Dancing Queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. As Abba. you can tell, Grandma Jean did not send me for voice lessons. <laughs> she did not. Um, no. I cannot <laughs> sing at all. But Mamma Mia, love that. We saw that like three times yes. um, on Broadway. Yes. And what's the other one? Oh, hairspray. Hairspray. Really cute. Lynn says, I made the pup like you did with Sherry. Lynn, did you get to make the kitty cat yet, too? Make the kitty cat. Grandma Jean didn't see the kitty cat. I'm going to go get the kitty cat to show them. Hold on. Plus, I forgot a gnome nose. I what do I have to one. hold the fort hold down Hold the fort now? down for one minute. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Hold the fort down. All right. Well, she, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just take over. And, and see oh, that I can. Oh, the downstairs. You know what? I can't. I'm not going to get him. He's downstairs. I thought I brought him up. Oh. Okay. He's downstairs. <laughs> My minute of fame is gone. <laughs> okay. So I wonder. Well, I want to try this. Uh, too big, I think. Too big. Okay. I don't want a big nose on him. He's going to look <clears throat> funny. All right. Let's see, Grandma Jean. How about arsenic and old lace? Oh yes. Oh yes. That that was very good. Did you, did you remember that one? No. <laughs> no. I didn't think so. I could tell the way you answered <laughs> that you were just sort of faking that. I, just I, I could tell you did not. Arsenic and old lace. I've heard it, and I don't know who is in that. Oh, Betty Davis movies. Oh, I love Betty Davis movies. Hello, yes. Vicky. Vicky, oh, Vicky says, love watching you, too. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Two, mule, two mules for Sister Sarah. Oh yes, I yes. Now that one do that you was, remember? Yes, I do. That was that was a nice one. Was Sydney Poitier? Yeah. Sydney Sydney Poitier? Yeah. Sydney Poitier? Yes. Okay, so I like this one much better than mine. I do too. Um <clears throat> And see, it's okay if there's a few little holes in here, you can't really see them because we painted the cone yellow. So you really cannot see them. And what I did was I actually just glued hot glued the beard right to, it's a little bit on the top of um, the rim of the flower pot because our flowers with Grandma Jean's came all the way down. Now somebody says you need a flower bud for the nose and that would look absolutely oh, adorable. Yes, that yes. would look really cute. And Good I, idea. Do not, I do not have a flower bud right now for the nose. I was gonna... No. No, I don't want a big good. nose on him. Okay, well, then we're pom poming him up. All right. We're going to pom pom his nose up. Okay. I love the pom poms for noses. Oh, I hear my husband coming up the stairs. Fred. What? What are some of your favorite John Wayne movies? I can't hear him. Can you hear him? Oh, no, I can't <laughs> hear him. Grandma Jean wears hearing aids, oh, well, and I wear uh, hearing aids, too, and neither of us have them in tonight. Hello out there. I thought you'd like to know that. Well, it's not a big deal. It's not, not a big, big deal, deal. What I would like to know is, I'm trying to think of the movie that with Dr. Zhivago in it. It was a beautiful love story of all times, and I can't, and I can't think of the name of it. And... The music in it was Somewhere My Love. What was the name of that movie? You people helped me out with my jade plant. Now I need a little bit more help. I, I loved it, but I can't think of oh, it. Oh, McClintock? Yep, that's a John Wayne one, right? Sound of Music was my favorite, oh, says yeah. uh, Janie. Um, no, it was Cary Grant. I don't know what that was. Gone with the Wind? 
Yeah. And my oh my son wears hearing aids too. Yep. Yeah. Um yeah, I I wear two and Grandma Jean wears two, but as you can see, we don't actually wear them all the time like we should. When when they mentioned uh, Sound of Music, and do you recall when she came down the mountainside? <laughs> she came down I the know where you're going with this. She came down the mountainside singing to Sound of Music. Well, when my daughter was young, and she had this friend that was young, they were going to perform Sound of Music for me. And the first thing I saw, my tablecloths disappearing and, and all sorts of things, I looked out and here she comes down the little mountainside to the sound of music, <laughs> just flirting away. That was so adorable. <laughs> I have the pictures of that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Well, I get even with well, you. You keep those pictures. Okay. Um, <laughs> keep them hidden. Well, here we go. Now, it's so hard to, there we go. Here we go. I think this guy is adorable. I'm liking the cute little yellow guy. And as you can see, all the way in the back, he's covered all the way his hat. Um, that's the painted yellow uh, rim of the pot so you can't really see any of the um, styrofoam cone and the beer the noses make them where am I here the noses absolutely make them somewhere in my lawn with the beauty was a beautiful movie okay thank you oh it was it was a very good movie oh Lee says that's adorable thank you Lee she also spells it like I do Somewhere my love, let's see. Laura's theme from Dr. Zhivago. Oh, that, oh, okay. Is that? There we go, I, well, I got them close together, Dr. Zhivago, the song, Laura's theme. Yes, that was beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, Aunt Anna says so cute, thank you, Anna. Let's see, oh, Rhonda, I love the yellow. My daughter, li my daughter loves the pink. Yeah, I, 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 just, I get pinky where, out here. Uh, I just. Pinky, remember Pinky Tuscadero? We could still like go go through all those happy days oh, with absolutely. Fonzie and Pinky Tuscadero and oh let's see, I'm loving the gnomes. Hello, oh hello Gloria, how are you? Oh, we got lots of smiley faces from Gloria. Hello. Uh, Lynette says hello ladies. Hi. I think Dr. Zhivago was the title. I think my mom loved that movie. Yes. Aww. Us us mothers loved that movie back in our day. Yep, that's it, uh, Karen okay. says. Thank you. Let's see, that one would be cute with a bumblebee on it. You are 100% right, Tammy. My little bumblebees are downstairs somewhere. Um, if I posted, I think it was two days, it was Saturday. I finished painting in my basement. My basement is now painted. It was it, My basement actually was this color yellow all the walls. My husband had painted it 26 years ago, 27 years ago. Um, I'm taking over part of the basement for my crafting so that we don't have to be in the kitchen and right here in the entryway anymore. And uh, I painted the walls, the color's called buckwheat. Painted the walls, did a little bit of wallpaper, um, got ourselves a craft table down there. So we're gonna be moving down there. But if you could see it right now, when Grandma Jean walked, it's in the basement, when Grandma Jean walked in the basement tonight, she looked around and said, oh my goodness. Um, uh, she said like, what's going on? It does look like a tornado hit. So I couldn't even tell you where my little bumblebees are right now. I was lucky enough to find these pink flowers and a few pots. Um, but yes, I, I, actually a couple of the little tiny wooden bumblebees would look really cute on yes. the flowers. Yes. Definitely. I'm going to do that. And then when I post the picture, uh, it'll have the bumblebees on it. One, uh, I was also thinking, and I didn't get a chance to do it, and I actually just saw someone comment on it, and I'm glad they did. The red, white, and blue carnations from the Dollar Tree. Have to go, ladies. Well, we will catch you. I'll uh, have to cook dinner for mom. Well, that's so kind of you, and you enjoy your dinner, and we will see you again. But um, the red, white, and blue carnations, Dollar Tree, they have solid red, white, and blue, and they also have oh, ones that have stars and stripes on them. We use those for a beard on one of the gnomes. But yes, that I was gonna mention that and I'm so glad a follower brought that up. That This would look really cute. You know, you could paint your pot red and white stripes. You could put, you know, blue around the top um, and then you could use the red, white, and blue yeah, flowers. Nice. And a white beard would look yes. really pretty with that. And I yes. was 
going to mention that, so I'm so glad you did because I absolutely forgot. Um, Carolyn says, your new craft room will be nice. Carolyn, thank you so much. Um, my husband has a hobby, which is pottery, and so he's taking a small section of the, uh, of the basement for, um, for his pottery, for his wheel and his kiln. So we are sharing and, and it'll, it'll be nice um, to have us both down there doing our crafts and hobbies. Tammy mentioned your shirt. She wanted to see oh. your shirt one more time. Oh, oh. And, oh, here, let me get out of your way, Grandma. Okay. Um, Grandma Jean's wearing the mom, and it says best job ever on it. And Tammy said, where could she get it? You can actually get it on my website. Uh, my website is gnome and backyard, but you have to spell out the word and. I was not allowed to use the and sign like I do for my Facebook page. So it's gnomeandbackyard.com. And um, you can find that shirt on my uh, website. You can find this shirt on my website. Um, I have a blog post there in case you did not know that. So we have a couple blogs up. We just started the site. We, it only went live about two weeks ago. So you can check out some of my blogs and some of my crafts. I do have, um, I do have some gnomes. I have the puppy dogs on there with step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, well, Leslie had to give up, give up her craft room for her granddaughter. Well, that is sweet. Um, she will go to college, so then she'll get her craft room back. Yeah, um, yes. And Grandma Jean actually has a section of the blog for In the Kitchen with Grandma Jean. We only have one recipe posted so far, her salmon croquettes, <laughs> but we're going to get her fudge recipe up and her rice pudding recipe up. And okay. it's, just been, it's just been busy here at the backyard. It's and, just and, a fun thing. And crazy, but um, so we're gonna get more posts up and we'll get more of Grandma Jean's recipes up. Um, <laughs> what else is on there? I think that's about it. Oh, that's about I think it. that's about it for now. But okay, guys, let's see, cool, thank you. I will check all that out. Oh, good, Tammy, yeah, and it is free shipping um, every day within the continental United States, so keep that in mind. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our cute little flower. What should we call them? Flower power gnomes? Oh, that's our cute little, yes. Our cute little flower power gnomes tonight. Um, let's see, Leslie says, can't wait. So everybody, you know what? Just have a great night. Thank you for continuing to sprinkle gnome in backyard. Uh, do you have anything you want to? Yes, I do. <laughs> and, and don't, <laughs> and, yes, and don't do. forget, sprinkle a little kindness along the way. Oh, that's Grandma Jean's tagline. She discovered that at, on our last live. And uh, she said it, and the followers loved it. Her fans loved it. <laughs> um, so she, uh, that's her little tagline. Well, it's true. It is. Does, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't hurt. hurt. Oh. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> In fact, it makes you feel better, and you're making someone else feel better. That's it. That's it. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Um, thanks for joining us. And just continue to follow us and have fun with us. All right, we'll see you. Good night. Uh, let's see, Claire, Clarine says, have a great night, ladies. Let's see before I push it. Very cute, sprinkled. Oh, Kathy, thank you for sprinkling. Sprinkle a little kindness. Yes, Sandra, you, you need to say sprinkle a little kindness. Well, what did I say? Well, maybe you did say that. I did. Okay. Don't forget to sprinkle <laughs> a little kindness Did you? We'll go back and watch the replay and see it. Is that what you said? I yes. think you did say that. Okay. I'm sorry, I doubted well, you. Well, she's, she's repeating. She oh, my, she is so cute. Miss my mom. Oh, Karen. Kisses to Karen. She misses her mom. Yep. Moms are special. Moms and dads and family is fam special. Family is special. All right. On that note, oh, Grandma Jean is so sweet. Donna, thank you. All right, everybody. Have a great night.